Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on depreciation 1. And in today's lesson, we shall talk about derivatives of functions of y with respect to x. So in the previous lessons, we have been talking about depreciation of functions of x with respect to x. But now what if is the function is in terms of y and they want you to depreciate it with respect to x. So that is what we are going to look at in today's lesson. We shall begin with derivative of y to power n, a single term, with respect to x. So such functions are differentiated with the help of chain rule. Therefore, if ft is a function of y, then we shall say that ft is equal to fy, meaning t is a function of y. Then we shall use chain rule and say dt dx. Now I'm differentiating this function of y with respect to x. It should be equal to dt dy multiplied by dy dx. In other words, you first differentiate that function with respect to y and then multiply by dy dx. So let's use that knowledge to go through this problem. They want us to differentiate y to power 4 with respect to x. So in this case, we shall first say let y be equal to y to power, let t be equal to y to power 4. When I differentiate t with respect to y, I'll, to, I'll get dt dy equal to 4y cubed. Then by chain rule, I'll say dt dx is equal to dt dy multiplied by dy dx. My dt dy is 4y cubed multiplied by dy dx. So this will be the result. And therefore, differentiating y to power 4 with respect to x, I'll get 4y cubed multiplied by dy dx. I think I'll say that what I've done, I'll first multiply this function with respect to y to get this. And after that, I've multiplied it by dy dx. So always when you're differentiating a function, which is not with respect to another function, another variable, you have to after multiply by dy dx. If it were, if you are differentiating w, you would say multiply by du dw dx. If it is v here, and you are differentiating it with respect to x, in the end you have to multiply by dv dx, like that. So let's go to this problem 2. Problem 2, I'm given 5y to power 4 with respect to x. So I'll first let 5y to power 4 to be equal to t. Then I differentiate that function with respect to y first. So differentiating it with respect to y, I'll get... 4 times 5 to give me 20, then reduce the power by 1 to give me 3. In the end, I'll get 20y cubed. Then I have to remember chain rule that dt dx is equal to dt dy multiplied by dy dx. So I'll bring my dt dy here, then multiply by dy dx. I think I'll see that what I've done, I've differentiated first this with respect to y to get this. After that, I've multiplied it by dy dx. So that is the concept behind derivatives of functions of y with respect to x. You first differentiate it with respect to y, then multiply by dy dx. What if it's a product of a function of x and a function of y? What do you do? Such function is a product of two factors, so we need to use the product formula to differentiate it. So in this case, there's a product of this and the social rate, this to be u and this to be v. Then you remember the chain, the product formula that dt dx is equal to dv du dx plus u dv dx. So let's go through this problem. Differentiate xy with respect to x. In this case, I'll first let my t to be equal to xy. And I think I'll say that this is the product. So my one function will be u, another one will be y. Therefore, I have to first get du dx my x is this, my u is x, so when I differentiate x, I'll get 1. So du dx is equal to 1. My v is y, so when I differentiate y, I'll get dy dx, which is that. I think I'll say that first dif d dx of y, I'm going to first differentiate this function with respect to y, then after that I'll multiply it by dy dx. So differentiating y with respect to y, I'll get 1. Then multiply by dy dx, which is that. So when I multiply 1 by this, I'll get dy dx as my answer. So my dv dx is equal to dy dx. Now I'm going to use product formula. Product formula says that dt dx is equal to 
v du dx plus u dv dx. Now my v was y, so I come and substitute for v. Then my du dx was 1, so I come and substitute 1 for, for du dx. My u is x, so I come and substitute for u. Then dv dx is dy dx, so I come and substitute for du, dv dx. So this gives me x dy dx. So in the end I'll get y plus x dy dx. So this will be the derivative of x y. We don't multiply the result by dv dx or dv dx by dy dx because here we are differentiating a function of x with respect to x. So I think I see for this one we didn't multiply by dy dx yet for this one we multiplied by dy dx y because these are the same variables x x but for this one they are different variables this is y this is x so you have to uh, after that multiply by dy dx so let's go through this problem too differentiate x squared y cubed with respect to x so i'll still go through the same procedure let t be equal to the function given function which is x squared y cubed meaning that u will be x squared and v will be y cubed. After that, I have to get my du dx and my dv dx. So du dx, it will be equal to d dx of x squared. Then you can see they are the same variables. So I'll just differentiate normally to get 2x. But for y cubed, these are different variables. So I'll first differentiate this with respect to y. And after that, I'll multiply by dy dx. So, differentiating this with respect to y, it will be bring down the power to be 3, reduce the power by 1 to be 3 minus 1 to give me 2. So, in the end, I'll get 3y squared. All that I have to remember to multiply by dy dx. And when I multiply by dy dx, my result will be 3y squared dy dx. Now that I've got dv, du dx and dv dx, I'll have to use now product formula. So product formula says dt dt dx it will be equal to v du dx plus u dv dx. So my v was y cubed, so I substitute for v. Du dx was 2x, so I substitute for du dx. U was x squared, so I substitute for u. And dv dx was 3y squared dy dx, so I substitute for it. All that I'll just say, this and this will give me 2xy cubed. And this, the whole of this will give me 3x squared y squared dy dx. So that will be the derivative of x squared y cubed. So the concept behind differentiating this with this way to x is given by, I think I said that the concept is the same as the concept for product rule. So in other words, you keep this one constant, which is that, and differentiate this, the other, which is that. Plus, for this case, we kept y power n constant. So in, in this part, we are going to keep the other one, which is x power m constant, which is that. Then I differentiate this to give me that. I think let's use that concept in this problem and we see. So they want us to differentiate 5x cubed y to power 5 with respect to x. So in this case, I want to differentiate this. So what am I going to do? First of all, 5 is a constant, I'll put it out. Then I'm left with x cubed y to power 5. So I'm going to first keep y to power 5 constant, which is that. And I differentiate. And I differentiate the other. Let me first correct that. That was like that. So I'm going to first keep this for constant, which is that. Then differentiate x cubed, which is that. Plus, I came now x cubed constant, which is that, and differentiate y to power 5, which is that. So then, now I'm, for this y to power 5 is here. Now, derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Bring down the power, which is 3, reduce the power by 1, which is 3 minus 1 to give you 2. So in the end, I get 3x, squ cube, 3x squared. Plus, keep y, this constant, which is x cubed, multiply by the derivative of this. So bring down the power, it is. 5, reduce the power by 1, it is 5 minus 1 to give me 4. But remember, so I've got, by that I'll get 5y to power 4. But remember that this and this are different variables. Since they are different variables, at the end I have to multiply by dy dx. So you should note that you multiply by dy dx only when they are of different variables. 
and this y comes from this variable and this x comes from this variable in other words if this was v here i would have said dv dx if this was w i would have said dy dx so what you put here depends on these two variables the numerator will be this variable and denominator will be this variable out of that i will now factorize out i think you can see that x squared is common in both and also y to power 4 is common in both so I first pull out x squared and y to power 4. Why are we pulling out x squared? It is because this x and this x, for the first x, the power is 2. The second x, the power is 3. But remember, we pull out the one with the smallest power. So we are going to pull out this, which is, has the smallest power, which is that. For y, here the power is 5, here the power is 4. But remember, we pull out the one with the smallest power. So this 5 is greater than this one. So we pull out this which has the smallest power and you can see that now from there what we are going to do to get what in, is in brackets we are going to divide so get the whole of this term and divide by what is outside divide by this because this is already there now this white power 5 and this white power 4 when you divide i'll get white power 1 which is that this x squared and this x squared they cancel so i'll, I'll get only 3y for this side, again, I have to divide the whole of this with this. The 5 is already outside. So the 5 is already outside. It is here. Now, this white power 4 and this white power 4, they cancel. And this x cubed and this x squared, it will remain x power 1, which is that. Then y dx will come because I can't divide it with anything outside. So in the end, I will get... 5x squared y to power 4 in brackets I'll get 3y plus 5x dy dx. So that's how the different functions of y with respect to x. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.